Hey guys and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a continuation of the steering helm of the boat. Our last video I replaced the seals because it was leaking. So today's video is going to be me bleeding the system again so I can have my steering back. As of right now, there's no oil, there's nothing inside, so I have no steering. So that's going to be today's challenge. It's just going to be putting the hydraulic fluid back into the steering pump so I could have steering again on the motor. So guys, to get started, I purchased this hydraulic steering um, bleed kit, which comes with the two parts that you'll see on a little video that I'm gonna post here from Amazon. It brings this and it also brings the kit part that goes to the pump at the helm. And what this does, it pretty much turns a two-man job into a one-man job. And you'll see what I mean now in a moment when I install it here in the back of the hydraulic steering on the motor. All right, guys, so, so to get started, you're just gonna take off these little caps, which are just like dust covers. And right here on these fittings, you're just gonna loosen them up. You're not going to take them off completely, so just loosen them up a little bit. Same thing goes for this side. You'll hear the system somewhat get air when, as you loosen up the fitting and you'll sometimes see it drip. So now you get these things here. Put them on like so. And that's it. That's as far as we could get back here now. Now we're gonna go back up to the helm of the boat. So now here at the helm, we're going to be installing the second part of the kit, which is going to attach to your pump. And then this part is gonna be attaching to your hydraulic fluid bottle. Now this here, just put it into this. You don't have to tighten it down, just tighten it down finger tight. It doesn't have to be nothing crazy. Now with this part here, you're gonna take the bottle of the stirring fluid. I sometimes just give it like a little bit of a squeeze. Now everything is connected. So you're going to see how this particular uh, kit, along with the one that I just installed on the steering of the motor, works together. What you're going to be doing is going to be tipping the bottle over, allowing the fluid to go down into the pump. And as that's happening, you're going to be turning clockwise and counterclockwise. And this is going to help all the air bubbles come out. You are going to see air bubbles travel up to this tube here. And you're also going to see the side video that I'm going to put of the other um, kit on the steering pump, or should I say the steering of the boat the air bubbles come through the hose. Just want to squeeze out as much oil as you can into the pump. And as you're do doing that, you're just spinning the steering wheel working that oil to go through your lines to go to your the hydraulic steering in the back of the boat it takes a little bit of time but nothing too hard. Just 
just gonna be going back and forth, back and forth, bending your steering wheel. my worst fear thinking that I had enough steering fluid I just ran out I'm gonna take a quick trip to the store and go get another bottle well guys I'm back a quick trip to my local marine supply store here in Homestead I went to South Marine Supply they had the fluid I needed in stock so we're gonna go ahead and continue with this video today Gonna allow that to go into the pump first. And again, a couple turns clockwise. Then you just want to change the direction of it, turn it counterclockwise, allowing all those air bubbles to come out. Again, it's not a hard job, it just takes its time. Just have patience with it. Always best to have also a rag handy. In case you have any oil spill, you can just clean it up right away. It's gonna get to a point where you're not gonna see any more air bubbles. Once you get to that point where there's no more air bubbles, you already know the job is already done. You just have all nothing but fluid inside the pump, no air bubbles. It's always good to give it an extra couple of turns back and forth, making sure your chances of having air bubbles in there are eliminated. Clean up a little bit of the oil that came out of this here. You can leave that there, allow any excess oil there to come out. I'm gonna go tighten the fittings that I loosen up on the engine. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it, give it a couple turns now. We had a little bit of a spill here, but that's okay. Uh, that's something that could be easily cleaned off but that's it we're done back here we're gonna go ahead and tighten these fittings down take these off as well That's it. That's 
it, we're done. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the bottle from here. go ahead and unscrew this here you may have a little bit of a uh, oil come out so just try to be quick with it Here. Clean up my mess. Go ahead and reinstall your cap for the pump. Again, only hand, hand tight, doesn't have to be extremely tight, so just finger tight. Don't use any tools. As you can see, we got steering back. So now all we have to do, take it out to the water and give it its true test. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.